What's going on, man? It's Wild Boy Zach, and I'm here on Be More Best Rider Podcast. Let's get into it. Take us back. Shit. My older brother put me on a Sierra 50 when I was like probably two and a half. He ride around with me in the yard. Then I kind of just started off that, started riding by myself. Passed away a couple years later ever since then. I took off. It's just been my passion. Started off racing. Been doing that for probably, shit, since I was like five. Been racing, doing that every weekend and just making it work, having fun with it. And then recently I got into riding the street, being out with the pack and doing all that. And uh, that took off. It's just a new thing for me, but I'm still trying to get into it. All right, so you know what I mean? You, you knew on riding to the street. How long have you been riding on the street? Shit, probably like two years, two and a half maybe. I started like end of 2020. Got a KX100, took off from there. I'm a driveway rider, but <laughs> I came up real quick, started riding with the pack, riding out. Mm. Being in lots every day that really that really helped a lot. Explain explain the difference between it. Like what what's the different vibes of doing motocross than doing you know riding on the street? Shit, you racing doing all that. You're really for yourself. There, there's no team in it. You're, you're against the next person, and it takes so much money. If you don't got a good support for it, you don't got a good background for it, then you ain't gonna make it. It's hundreds of thousands of dollars just to be able to make it anywhere with that. But you're out here in the street, everybody's like family. Once you get in the pack, everybody just rides together, make things work. Everybody's got each other's back. We all got the same purpose when we out here riding. Okay, okay, okay. But like when you ride motocross, it's like it's that's more I say that's a more workout. I feel. Yeah, now I I will say that you you do four laps out on the track as hard as you can, and you're sweating bullets. I've had I brought my man's a couple times. I've had niggas pass out after going out there for two three laps coming from the streets. It's a whole different world, but you really it's all conditioning. It's the same thing as being out here. You're not gonna be out here doing tricks and all that without being in shape. Man, shit, you just you gotta put your mind to it. All right, give us your favorite bike. Man. What's your favorite bike? Your go-to bike? Shit, either a one fifty or a KX. Okay, okay. I seen some of your films too, man. Like, all right, what's your go-to trick? What's your your top trick? Shit, anything seat work or if I'm on the two stroke, just drop back and let it go. All right, just ride your swag on the bike now. What's your swag like? Right? My swag bullshit right now. I don't ride like that no more, but back in the day when I used to ride every day, I give it a cool seven, something like that. I know I think niggas way nicer with the swag. I'm low-key stiff for real. Top five riders, man. Shit. See, let's see. I know this might be hard. Just Damn. that's why I ask. I that's why I say top five because I want it to be hard. Like top five. I didn't even think about this. Uh, Dead or alive. Top five. Shit. Chino. Damn. I didn't even think about all that. It's hard to say, man. It, oh, Chase too cool one leg. He's a hog. Bike that's life, Ollie. That's three. Um. My man's day. He nice as shit. One, one spot left. One spot. Shit. I don't know. That's hard. There's so many niggas out there, and it's like, I think a one, it makes me think of another. It's like, it's hard to bring it to a top five. Um, Can I throw a name out there? Huh? Can I throw a name out there? Yeah. Sean? Sean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sean. Yeah, he a hawk. He's, he's up there a little bit more. I put him I put him up at the top. Okay. He nice as shit. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's your top five. That's a nice top five. Alright, uh, anybody ever call you out? Or you, you, you want to call somebody out? 
It can be a little personal, a little friendly. You know what I mean? You call out. Mm. My man's Gucci. I mean, me and him fucking with each other on the bikes. He nice. He came up too, for real. He, he wasn't shit a couple years ago. And that nigga's a hawk now. And he young too. He younger than me. I think he like 16. But. So, uh, Gucci, man. What's up, man? Like, we gonna pull the cameras out. We gonna see something, man. We, gonna, we, we might do a little pay per view, man. Yeah, you already know. What's up. All love. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely all love. All, all um, proceeds going to charity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, nice little friendly call out. You feel me? We might have to document that on the That'd next be, episode. You feel that'd me? That'd be cool for real. Yeah, man. So we might have to tag Gucci in this. Mm-hmm. Uh, you ain't got no uh, uh, pack story, wild chase story, anything like that? You ain't get chased yet? Nah, all my chase stories out the county. Bro, they be fucking with me heavy out there. Give me one. Give me one of your worst, man. Cause the, yeah, we know about the county motherfuckers. Yeah. Me, me, me and him, we was coming. We was coming down Philadelphia Road, way up, and. So twelve got behind me, came up. He's on the he's on the one hundred. I'm on the one fifty. I got a flat. I'm going down the road, swinging back and forth, fifth gear top. Bro, this nigga turns around, comes at us flying. No bullshit. He probably hit like one ten, one fifteen, coming down seven. Bro, and this nigga get on our ass. No bullshit. I look back. He was right hit my tire. I had to hop up the curb. I almost busted my ass, bro. I I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I panicked like shit. No Man, I was stressing. I was stressing. I thought I was done for it. I wasn't even my bike either. I was on my man shit. That's what I was worried about. I was like, damn, I'm gonna get fucked up on my man shit and it's gonna get tucked. I ain't, I ain't no good. But you got it, you got it, you got it. Nah, yeah, we, okay. we, we got away. Man, as long as you we get away, away yeah. man. That no long the story end like that, you feel oh, yeah. I, I ain't the... been caught, so All right. I'm grateful for that. All right, what's that? Uh, where the love of bikes come from? What's that feeling you get when you get on the bike? Uh, it's really just being free and not like, I don't know, it's a stress relief. You ever feel like some type of way I get on a bike, I'm just in my own zone. Don't got to worry about nothing. It's just, it's just a way to let go. All right. Might be the last <clears throat> question, man. What you think the future of bike life is like? You see what uh, B, shout out to B360. We saw what they did with it as far as you feel me, the legal side of it, getting the part together. But what you see, like the original bike life culture, what you saw, what you see the future of that? I see it staying the same. I feel like you, you can make it legal, but I ain't no feeling like being out like in the street with the pack and everybody. Ain't nothing like that. You can you can go do tricks and stuff at a lot, but ain't nothing like being in traffic. There's like nothing like it. Okay, okay, Go ahead, drop your social media for everybody where they can find you at. At Wild Boy Zach X on Instagram and uh, pretty much everything else. And appreciate you coming out, bro. Anytime, I appreciate you. <laughs>